If you just want to jump straight into a fight, Fight Now is back, but this time around it offers a whole new suite of authentic MMA UFC match types from the fan favorites including Kumite and Backyard to Main Event, Championship and Main Card fights. But things are a little different this time around. Main Card fights are three rounds, Main Event fights are five rounds and so are the Championship fights, but they are of course for world titles. But whether you decide to fight online or off, if you go to the Backyard you'll have to fight five three minute rounds this time around and the judges will only score the fight based on damage. It's going to be a five round fight and the rounds will be three minutes. So it's going to be very quick, fast uh, rounds that you're going to have. We've changed the judges in the backyard. So the judges don't necessarily care about how our users are playing career mode. We know how many players are playing career mode. It's a very popular mode on UFC 4. A lot of people play career mode multiple times. And one of the pain points that we saw was training camp, obviously. It takes a long time. Training camp in real life it's not fun. What we've allowed you to do in UFC 5 is, one, you can simulate your entire training camp and get to peak fitness. So once you've completed a, a challenge pack in sparring, you can then simulate to that grade over and over again if you get that same challenge pack again. There's a lot of simulation everywhere across career mode just to get you to the fight faster. We've done a lot with our AI tuning this year in career mode specifically. Of course, Sparring is hard, right? We do like there to be a little bit of a, a danger to sparring. There is, there's always a chance of getting knocked out, getting hurt. There's always a chance of now getting cut as well in career mode, in, in sparring. The wrinkle we've added to legendary career mode. Fight inside the UFC with the unified rules of MMA or something completely different with these new game modes and custom rule sets. All these new modes are also gonna really change the way you're gonna have to play and compete inside the cage. And the fact you can fight online and master whatever game mode you enjoy the most really lets you play UFC 5 however you want. My most favorite feature this year is our fighter select. And one of the most special things about booting up any fighter game is looking at our fighter select and looking at the fidelity of our fighters, the, how our Frostbite engine has considerably improved our fighter select this year. And of course, ranked online mode is back for the more competitive players. Pick your favorite UFC athlete, go head to head with other players online and compete for spots in global and friends ranked leaderboards. Wins and losses are added up and rank you in a division as you try and make your way up to compete against the best players in the world and compete for online world titles. Ranked is once again separated into 20 divisions and there are challenges to complete for reaching the top as well as collecting rubies with your title defenses. UFC 5 is the next step in mixed martial arts gaming and with it comes changes to the visuals and game mechanics as well as a whole host of all these new game modes for you to step into the virtual octagon and experience the UFC like you've never done before. Want to have a 25 minute Kumite fight where your health does not recover the whole time, you can do it. UFC 5 is really raising the bar this year and it promises to be the best MMA game yet. It's a next level event driven live service update. In the build up to the biggest UFC events, you'll be able to take part in a series of all new challenges and features that really connect you to the blockbuster UFC cards and the world of MMA in a way that's never been done before. Let's take a look at everything involved. Going into fight week, you will be presented with several fight week challenges. These challenges give you different objectives to complete throughout the week and will give you the opportunity to unlock rewards inspired by those events, including new created fighter vanity items, player profile, customization assets, emotes, and even UFC athlete alter egos. There's also a section now to make fight picks before real world UFC events, so you can make predictions for the main card of every pay-per-view. You'll automatically then be seeded into fight pick leaderboards after making those choices, and after the event is over, depending on how many of them you got right, the top ranking players will earn in-game UFC coins, which could be used to buy more assets for your profile and your UFC athletes. You'll also be presented with fight week contracts, which will give you a daily fight offer where you can take on AI opponents under preset gameplay settings. Completing these contracts can earn you in-game currency and the difficulty of these contracts increases over the course of the week. Your total wins, losses and finishes are tracked in the contracts tab and it's another chance to earn yourself some in-game rewards. This year, it's all about bringing the real world of MMA and the virtual octagon closer together into one awesome fan Rounds experience. to recover your damage anymore uh, so when you do get hit that that damage is gone if you do manage to last the whole 25 minutes it will go to a draw honestly it's pretty awesome to have some new game rules to fight under and whatever your preference you're able to play online or off and if you want to customize your game even further there are now different play styles to choose from as well so what we've added are multiple game styles there's there's the stand and bang game style which will turn off all grappling there's the simulation game style which will be as real as it gets so essentially turning off the huds increasing damage increasing stamina drain uh, making it as simulation as we can possibly get UFC 5. What knockout game style does is it turns off health recovery 
So when you do get hit, that health is gone, and when it gets to zero, there will be a knockout. You'll be able to apply that to fight now, you can apply that to career mode. You can search for online matches in simulation uh, game styles as well. Along with those five categories of game styles that we have, we've allowed you to make your custom game styles as well. So you'll be able to turn off doctor stoppages, you'll be able to turn down the damage. You can apply that to any mode as well and play UFC 5 the way you want to play. From the new awesome simulation style that uses real-time rounds and increased damage and stamina drain to emulate an authentic fight experience to knockout that turns off health regeneration and recovery and applies unlimited stamina and combinations. Or Stand and Bang, which lets you just fight exclusively on It includes skill-based matchmaking, division progression, and title chases across four different divisions. Created fighters are no longer used in rank mode like in UFC 4. Instead, UFC 5 has a separate game mode for competing with them. There are four different divisions to choose from with your created fighters, and there's plenty of character customization and vanity items to show off while you make your way to the online titles. You fight in online career matches, you earn evolution points, which can then be used to improve your created fighters attributes, moves, and perks. And once you you reach the level cap for your athlete, you can prestige, which will reset your evolution to the starting point, but increase the level cap and unlock access to additional moves and perks. There's also XP boosts that you can activate to increase your earning potential, but this year, online career is its own entire gameplay mode for you to get started. If you decide into. to compete in, in UFC 5, you will level up your UFC punch card. You can kind of consider it a bite-sized battle pass. Just play the game any way you want and earn your way through a set of predetermined rewards, including in-game currency, player profile customizations, vanity items, as well as your punch card. There's always something to be working towards as well with profile challenges. They're back and they will reward you with XP that helps you level up your punch card. There's also alter egos. These are a new way to unlock different versions of your favorite UFC athletes with different play styles, looks and new abilities. All new alter egos let you play as your favorite athletes in their authentic career defining moments. For example, Origins Volkanovski has slightly different perks and even some different stat changes so you can play a different version of your favorite fighter. So you'll have challenges to complete across every game mode so no matter how you decide to play UFC 5, you'll always be unlocking something. As the attacker, the direction of your inputs will always remain the same regardless of the submission. Up to submit and down to advance to another dominant position. As the player who's defending, the directions of your input will also always remain the same regardless of the submission. Left to escape and also right to escape. Well, rest assured, the team accounted for this concern because in tandem with the regular HUD displaying head, body, and leg health, an additional gauge now shows your submission health. Depending on the strength of the submission, your athlete's submission defense stats, as well as your current stamina level, it might require as many as three submission attempts to completely deplete your submission health. And when that happens, the submission is instantaneous. It is important to note that despite this protective measure, one-shot submissions remain plausible in UFC 5. These occurrences are exceptional and typically happens when a player has severely mismanaged your stamina, granting the attacker a substantial stamina advantage upon initiating the submission. Contextual submissions have also been expanded in UFC 5. If you find yourself in sight control and you try to escape to half guard by framing and bridging up, be careful because your opponent could very well counter that with an arm triangle. If you find yourself entangled in a rubber guard and you try to recover the full guard, also be careful because you could find yourself fighting off an arm bar. UFC 5 introduces a multitude of contextual submissions that once mastered imbue the ground game with a heightened sense of authenticity. Adding to the authenticity of the ground game, the ground and pound system has also been revamped. All new ground and pound animations from straight punches to hooks, including high impact elbows to the head and body, accurately captures the visceral reality of ground and pound. For the first time in franchise history, UFC 5 is powered by the Frostbite engine. And with the Frostbite engine, UFC 5 looks amazing, man. It really gave me those feelings of stepping into the cage. That all starts with the foundation of the real impact system, authentic damage. Damage impacts your fighter's attributes during the game. So, if you got a cut bleeding into your eye, it will lower your defensive abilities on that side of the body. And if you take one too many kicks to your lead leg, you'll start to limp, your mobility will decline, and your attack power will drop. Guys, I'm taking some calf kicks. They look just as painful in the game as they are in the octagon. Working hand in glove with authentic damage, is the all-new strategic element of doctor's checks and stoppages. 
If you take serious damage, the ref might call in the doctor to check on you. Once you're cleared to keep fighting, you're going to have to switch up your strategy to protect that hurt area to keep the fight from getting stopped. And on the other side of this coin, can you make the most of your opponent's injury until the doctor has no choice but to stop the fight? While every fight starts on the feet, it should be just as fun to tangle on the ground. We got a new seamless submission system, and it really legitimizes the ground game in UFC 5. The seamless submission system removes the mini games completely and functions as an extension of the overall ground game. This delivers a much faster and far more intuitive experience, keeping the action on the ground fresh and fluid. Which is essentially a catchphrase for the conglomeration of health events, facial injuries, full body hit reactions, overall authentic damage, and the impact they have on a fight. Unlike previous games where injuries to the athletes were mainly superficial, UFC 5 introduces an innovative impact system that accurately reflects the physical toll the athlete undergoes during a match, which influences both the athlete's condition and the ultimate match results. Vision penalty icon appears when an athlete gets cut in areas of the face where bleeding could lead to visual impairment, like the brows, the eye, the forehead, etc. This leads to an increase in the amount of damage you take on the affected side while the penalty is active. If no further impact occurs to the affected location in 30 seconds, the penalty is lifted. The penalty is also lifted at the start of a new round. The breathing penalty icon appears when an athlete sustains an injury to the nose or mouth. This impact will decrease the short-term stamina recovery for as long as the penalty is active. If the athlete can protect against subsequent damage to the affected area, the penalty will be lifted in 30 seconds or at the start of a new round. Icons authentically represents the effect a submission attempt can have on an athlete. The heart icon appears when a player loses a chunk of their maximum stamina due to a deep choke. The goal here is to accurately represent how chokes, especially deep ones, can negatively affect an athlete's overall stamina. The arm health icon is meant to signal a loss in maximum block health due to a deep arm submission. Whether it's an arm bar or a kimura, overextending the arm realistically leads to a reduction in blocking ability and UFC 5 represents this authentically. The leg health icon signals a loss in permanent leg health when a player survives a deep leg loss. Stoppage icon will appear initially as a result of any facial injury, not including injury to the mouth. At first, the icon appears yellow, but a subsequent impact is received on the affected area, the icon will appear more red. The more red the icon becomes, the closer the ref is to halting the match briefly and requesting a doctor check. If the doctor examines the injury and determines it is not severe enough to warrant a stoppage, he will exit the cage and the match will continue. However, if he examines the injury and determines that it is indeed significant enough, he will signal to the ref and the match will end. Defensively sound has never been more important and because of this, there has been some significant enhancements to the core defensive tools in the game. Footwork, blocking, head movement and lunges have all received significant upgrades, resulting in a substantial improvement in their reliability for defensive maneuver. It is faster and it costs less stamina. In addition to that, the vulnerability incurred while using head movement has been reduced. Showcasing UFC's massive presentation updates in truly innovative fashion is the all-new cinematic KO replay. Thanks to the power of Frostbite, players can now re-watch their finishing blows in stunning visual fidelity. Those super slow motion finishes with all those cinematic camera angles and lighting, it really turns your knockout into a work of art. Plus, we've added improved interactions with the referee in ground and pound stoppages and added the ability to go to a draw on the judges' scorecards and online play, which is something we know you've been asking for. UFC 5 is truly an extension of the UFC fan experience, thanks to Fight Week, an all-new series of features and challenges synced with real-world fight events that bring you more content and rewards than ever before, like the all-new Alter Egos, which let you play as your favorite fighters in their authentic career-defining moments, with up to four new Alter Egos dropping per month. It's a staggering level of content. 
Career Mode offers an all-new introduction, and Coach Davis is back to guide the player through their UFC career, along with help from none other than the bullet herself, Valentina Shevchenko, who crushes it as an all-new NPC. This is the best training facility in the world. There is no place like it. Then there are new cinematics, locations, and a refined focus on onboarding. And last but not least, and trust me,